Hello, I'll be doing a video on Mastery Check 2DK1, 2D Kinematics, and this is on 2D Vectors, so, um, there's one problem, Diego starts at the origin, large XY plane moves such that its displacement is 4.9 meters and 176 degrees, from there he moves another 8.6 meters at an angle of 10 degrees. So we can break this into two vectors. So we're given two vectors in, I believe this is polar form. So 4.9 meters at um, 176. We can break that up using trigonometry because let's say a line, is, this is 176. So we can see this is a right triangle right here. So if this is the total distance of 4.9 meters. We can see that using trig cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine of 176 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent is x over hypotenuse, which we know is 4.9. We can move the 4.9 over, and boom, we get our x value. Uh, let me get my calculator out. So if you plug it in, you should get 4.9 cosine 176 is negative 4.88, which is reasonable because we're going in the negative direction. So the y, it's in the positive direction. So let's denote this as i, because it's a 2D vector. And now we do sine. We can do the same thing for sine over here. Sine of 176 is equal to the y value over the hypotenuse, which is 4.9. Multiply it over, so it would just be 4.9 times sine of 176, boom, it'd be 0 0.342j. So that's our first vector, that is the direction he was moving. He moves another 8.6 meters at an angle of 10 degrees. So from that point, at around an angle of 10 degrees, he's going to move 8.6 meters, which is a lot further, so it's going to look something like this. But we can also look at it from the origin atom. So, um, let's just do the same thing we did above cosine of 10 degrees times the 8.6 will give us the second value to be 8.67i plus, and then we do the sine to find the y value, 1.493j. So now that we have the displacement in rectangular form, we can add them to see the total displacement in both directions. So negatives 4.88i plus 8.7647i. Uh, three point five nine in the I direction total. And we can also add the J values to find the J component. One point eight three five J. So that's our answer we see we plug those in and we get the correct answers let's move on to a different type of question that shows up okay there we go
This time we're given the rectangular form of these two values. So all we have to do is add them together and we'll get the complete vector. So if we would draw this out, it looks something like negative 2y. So it's like around negative 1.2. And it go up 3j, so 3.2j. So this is our first vector, soup. And then from there, from this point, 5.6i, 5.6, and up 8.2j. So the total vector would look something like this. So what do we do? We add all the values. So the total vector is going to have negative 1.2 plus 5.6i. So this value right here is going to be 4.4i. And if we add the two y values, 8.2 plus 3.2, you get 11.4. So it's asking how far is she from where she started. So these are two values, but we're looking for the hypotenuse right here. So as you can see, that is a right triangle. So we just do 11.4 squared plus 4.4 squared. And square root that using the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So The hypotenuse is 12.22 meters. So now we're looking for the angle. So we know the two values, um, 4.4i and negative 11, I mean 11.4j. So now all we got to do is do another trig function. So a uh, trig function that puts uh, x and y components together to find the slope is tangent. So tangent of theta, which is what we don't know, is equal to y over x, so 11.4 or 4.4. This is in meters. So if we want to find theta, we just do the inverse tangent of 11.4 over 4.4 and that should get us sixty-eight point eight nine degrees which if we look up here is reasonable for our graph and it goes in to the value so the last type of problem that comes up on this mastery check is this one. So for a question like this, it's giving us a velocity, it's asking for the speed. Because speed is distance, we can just find the hypotenuse and that will be our speed if we were given a velocity vector. And an angle, we just find it. So oftentimes in his problems, he's asking for an angle between 180 and 180 degrees. So if you get a value over 180, do not plug it in. It will be wrong. I had to do this mastery check three times because of that. So right here, we see um, a vector that goes around 6.4 in the i direction and 6.7 in the j direction. This is a velocity vector. So this is our speed. So V is equal to, again, let's do the Pythagorean theorem. That should give us 9.27 meters per second. Now we have to find the degrees. Again, we have X and Y, so 
tangent theta is equal to 6.7 over 6.4i, I mean meters per second. Then we just do inverse tangent. Plug that into your calculator. That should give you forty six point three one degrees. And if we look, that is the correct answer. Thank you.